Hello, welcome back. Last time I got a victory against Kingu and had a Tablet of Destiny in Neo Babylon, then learned about a new hazard that, as anything does in this game, kills me. Also, save this person. Tina Flan is here. Could use a nice cup of tea. Well, there's a cup of something there. I don't know if it's tea, though. Alright, so got something to say that I don't like to talk about, but it's become necessary because things have gotten a little out of control recently. A uh, quick reminder, game mechanics that have, haven't been directly seen are off-limits for discussion, and this especially includes replying to speculation with confirmation or denial. A quick rule of thumb, if you want to be safe, is to never provide information or explanations. So if you're unsure, that's the rule to go by. Alright, so goals for today. Uh, I want to reach the Ushabti with a Tablet of Destiny. I've been trying to do this for a while. I'm going to actually make it happen. My planned route is to go to the jungle and the temple. Um, jungle to get the sisters. Temple to see if there might possibly be a Parmesan appearance. No, no, no. A parsnip appearance uh, in place of Van Horsing. Um, I have no reason to think that there will be, but it's possible. Hmm, interesting. I expected that to break in such a place where if there was a snake in it, it would be out of range of hitting me. Apparently I was too close. I think I was like right on the threshold of being enough under that block that a forward throw would, um... Uh would have taken a more downward trajectory. Because, like, if I'm here, there's a ceiling above my head, I throw forward, it just goes straight forward. Uh, but, like, if I'm back a little bit, like, there's no ceiling over my head here. Well, you can't tell it the throw went up, but it kind of did. I guess if it were a pot, yeah, so that, like, bumps that corner there. But if I'm actually under, it goes under. Anyway, yeah, so threshold to watch out for. Yeah, I see you trying to do that to me. Right, uh, what else am I doing? Am I stealing? Uh, do I want to meet Sparrow? Kinda. If there's a good opportunity to steal one thing safely in the next level, I'm gonna take it. Don't want to steal much, just a little bit. Enough to get Sparrow's attention. Uh, and this is why I'm picking up money, because I only want to steal a little bit and want to buy everything else. Because buying is best. Uh, alright, I want that money. I could curse you, that might be fun. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, yeah, so like if I broke, if I did this here, um, yeah, okay, see, there was a snake in that one. I stood back a little bit more. Alright, stand back a little bit more in that circumstance. Got it? Here, you're gonna get cursed. How about that? At some point, I'll play more with the, uh, the gist shop that I have to be cursed to get into. Um, today is not that point. Got some things to try there. See, I only saw the the goodies that were in those uh, uh, that were available there once, and um, they were very good goodies. Even one was kind of unique. The uh, the box that I believe had like something like ten bombs and ten ropes in it, or you know, some number of both bombs and ropes. Oops. Well, okay. Ghosts here. I could have played that a little better, but I did not. Alright, I'm taking this. Didn't fall down enough to... Okay, cool. This looks like a pretty good place to steal from. Well, right, that's fine. Um, uh, oh boy, I better do it quick if I'm going to do it. Nope, I stole my favorite item. And one that is directly helpful right here. Yep, camera is my choice of those items. Well, he died. Um, I was not responsible for that, though, so... Maybe it'll be okay. Would have been nice to have had those bombs. All right, yes, so um, I did have a little practice run where, um, well, not so much practice run, but like a, uh, something I did where I, uh, that's a caveman dwelling. Um, uh, forgot what I was going to say because it took so long to say it. <laughs> All right, yeah, so you're angry. That's right, shopkeeper. Um, I saw forgiveness happen more than two levels after I caused something to make those guys angry. So it can... What? Was I at one health? How would that have happened? Like, I wasn't looking at my health number because I just assumed I was like at three or so. 
Where did I take enough hits to get down to one there? Because one hit from the skeleton killed me. I just did not see. I don't know, got a lot of stuff to think about. Again, this game's a huge mental load to play. Like, it's kind of ridiculous just how many things I have to think about all the time. Even, you know, super early on in a run like this, in a place that I've seen this many times, it is ridiculously demanding. Okay, um, right, yeah, so what is my route? It's jungle and temple. And, okay, I just, just have to go look at my notes. Because I have several things I want to accomplish here. Reach Ushabti with Tablet of Destiny. Route. Jungle. Temple. Looked for Cursed Parsnip, possibly, or some other equivalent, because I didn't find her anywhere in the Jungle Tide Pool route. I had an idea... Oh, right, okay, so a couple of things. Right, so I want to meet Sparrow and check Tusk's stash, if I can accomplish that at the same time. Um, I had an idea about Ho Yi's bow. So Tun runs the Moon Challenge, where you can get Ho Yi's bow, potentially. She also runs the Star Challenge, where you can potentially get a clone gun or an elixir. Um, ooh, okay, a new idea has just occurred to me now. I want to bring Ho Yi's bow to the Star Challenge. One, see if that just does anything on its own. Two, just what I just thought of now is I can totally clone that thing. Ouch. How annoying. Yeah, okay, so being anywhere vaguely in the same zip code as a... Horned Lizard, when it's rolling, is pretty hazardous. Uh, just because of the, the sheer chaos it can do from punting things a billion miles away. Uh, right, yeah, so clone Hoi's bow, see if that does anything. Maybe it will. Because, like, the Excalibur turned into something else when cloned. And the other thing is, Star Challenge involves uh, lighting a bunch of torches, right? The Hoi's bow description was... Something, something, shoot out the sun, suns, nine suns, how was it? Uh, with the simple but refined bow, Ho Yi shot down the nine suns that scorched the earth. Star Challenge provides a crossbow in addition to the uh, um, torch to use for shooting directly across and lighting torches, potentially. Pretty sure that's the purpose of it. There was a large amount of this level that I did not see, but that's okay. Alright, so I want to steal one thing, and if it's one thing, it's going to be the bomb box. I'd like to visit no violence at all on you. Uh, you're angry, that's fine. I'll just stay far away. Oh boy, um, yeah, that damaged me, that's fine. Are you going to see me from there? Probably not. I'll be cautious anyway. Okay, so this key needs a ho ho hole? Yes, well, hole in a chest. Home where a chest exists. Uh, there's like a lot of stuff over there, but not the thing that I need, so this is fine. This level was s directly straight down to the exit. That's nice. Some violence was done to you, not by me, but Quillback by proxy. Given that he was the one who constructed that trap. Okay, well, if you die and it has nothing to do with me, I still don't know if that... Well, you're gonna die. It had something to do with me. You were chasing me at the time. I don't know how much blame I get for that. I'll take your gun. I'll use it for a little while. Shotgun is really not my favorite item in this game. It's kind of funny just, like, how much I don't like it at this point. But it's good for some things. It'll be a momentary jump boost until I'm ready to have something else in my hands. And you know, it can also kind of be used as a weapon sometimes. <laughs> kind of. Uh, hey, I'm forgiven. Okay, cool. Yes, so that did not prolong my forgiveness. I believe the arrow will propel this forward. I was wrong, but it made it anyway. Or maybe it propelled it, but it was too subtle to really notice. I hear a meow. I see a meow. Okay. All right, you yeah, go away. Uh, I'll check around here. Right, so I'm forgiven. Uh, so no more shopkeeper aggression. My, I am at one heart again somehow. How does this keep happening? Oh right, another thing I wanted to do is to attempt to maintain vegan status in case I can detect something that does. I'm going to jungle today. That's right, I'm going to jungle today. I say. I can make that happen. I know how to how you think, Quillback. 
I'm gonna get close. You're going to stomp. You're gonna stomp. You're gonna stomp. I'm gonna get on the other side of you. Do this, you'll roll. Okay? Oh shoot, you're rolling again. Um, that's fine, I can escape. I have no spike shoes. So I just have things to throw. That's fine. If you stomp into those, uh... I just want your bombs, I don't want your turkey. I want to be non-turkey eating today. But bombs are always nice. I have 15 of them, that's probably not going to last me through this entire run. An up throw here in this area. Well, I uh, bumped into the wall. Usually ensures that I'll hit him from a distance. Okay, I want to separate these carefully. There we go. Um, there we go. Ugh! There. Uh, uh, uh. 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 Okay, don't eat that turkey. I do kind of need this health, though. Not going to break that curse pot right now. Oh shoot, I died to a skeleton again. This keeps happening. Okay, well, I'm here. Uh, things are not great. I don't have high hopes for this run. Maintained vegan status. Uh, oh, I can probably actually check this. Right, shopkeepers are still angry with me. More violence happened on them than I desired, but I didn't have a whole lot of say in it. Uh... Okay, right, so I have no particular task on this level. There's nothing really for me here. I could just move quickly through it, but, you know, money is useful for buying things, assuming that I will have shopkeeper friendliness again by the time I get to the place with a whole bunch of them. That's a big assumption. I'll have to be very careful not to do anything that counts as making them angrier than they already are. Um... And that's tricky sometimes. Okay, so there's Sparrow. Uh, I left my gun up there. I claimed a gun from a dude in the previous level because he died to a bear trap. It wasn't because of me. I was nowhere near him. He wasn't even angry at the time. Alright, I've broken a lot of curse pots, so my, my money supply is pretty good already. Oh, hey, Yang, you can, uh, you can buy this for me, right? Then I only have one thing to carry around. Uh, I can get back to you, yes. Okay. There's a cat up there somewhere. Thanks. Um, you know what? I'm gonna buy your ropes. They could come in handy. Don't need any turkeys. Yeah, no cat's out of reach. Okay. Okay. I have a gun here somewhere. I just fell farther than I like to fall by accident. But I didn't have to pay for it. Um, to get to Sparrow, I'll go down this way. Okay. Spelunky. Sure is a video game. Uh, so much work. Okay, so this time I am meeting her but leaving her alive. Now she carries a skeleton key, or at least the one time I saw her die she did. So that might be a good, reliable way to get one of those. You're not gonna see me, right? Right. And I would like to just get out of here without you. I don't think I can get out of here without you seeing me. But I can make sure you don't die from it. Okay, so you're gonna look at me. I'm gonna make you jump here. Uh, it's not going to work. Gonna hang here dangerously. Okay, guess I'm just going like this. It worked. That is not reliable. <laughs> okay, finally forgiven. Good. Okay. On the first level where it might matter. Because this is where Black Market can show up. Oh, interesting. You were high enough to actually get over that. I expected you to bump into the thing on your way to me. Hey, look what item I just found. I'll see a shotgun. You've been outclassed. Can I set off snap traps? I can. Cool. Moon challenge. Shoot. I need to discard this immediately. All right. Um, oh, this can actually come in handy in here. All right. This is fine. Uh, so there's a crate there. Good. Good information. All right. What can I see? Here's some gems and stuff.
I don't need to be up that high. There's the bow. Okay, that's the main thing I'm after. But also money's nice. To a point. But I am not yet beyond that point. Okay, so that's where Parsley is. Uh, second chunk from the left. Kind of bottomish. Alright, so I have to ditch my camera, unfortunately, because I'll be carrying this thing around. That's fine. I'm aware I'm at one health. And I don't actually currently know whether, um... Kapala breaks vegan status. I could see that going either way. Okay, so watch out for the rebound. Yeah, this is a real dangerous item to have. <laughs> I have footwear. Okay, so thorns at my feet are not a threat. I have a little bit of practice using crossbow type items. But not as much as I'd like. I'm gonna fall back to the whip in situations like that. Just feels way safer. Um, from Parsley's chamber, I'll be able to see whether this is the black market level or not. I could not reliably tell when I was in the moon challenge. Have that. And you have some spikes. Right, okay, so Parsley's there. No Ujadai activity. Uh, this is not the level. Okay, great. Wouldn't mind finding a pet. Or, you know, something to restore my health. There's a pet. Okay, yeah, so if you're there... Uh, ten bombs, one health. I'm gonna say... The calculation at that point is that it's worth one to refill my health. Uh, I need to do this carefully so you don't die from it. I think here will be fine. It was. Not gonna bother with that sapphire. Um, yeah, I'm almost out of time here. It's fine. Oh wait, no I'm not. I have clover. I did moon challenge. It's fine. I'm sad about leaving that camera behind. I would love to have taken that with me. I haven't yet gotten to demonstrate it eating the witch doctor's, uh curse orb. So you'll just have to take my word for it. Here's some paste. I don't want to lose this arrow, and I haven't yet. Um, oh boy. This is gross. Uh, I'm gonna drop this here for a moment, just because things in my hands sometimes stress me out. Alright, monkey's dead. Um, I don't have to spend a rope to get that. Black market's here, by the way. Where? Below me, got it. All right, somewhere down there. In that mess of thorns. That was uncomfortable. I pressed up very, very late. I was thinking about the spider webs and not thinking hard enough about having to grab onto a ledge. All right, I'm at two health. That's a lot less stressful than one, but three would also feel way better than two. All right, I have like all the money. I can buy out the entire black market, probably not, but you know, Everything that I could want there, uh, definitely including Ujadai. Gonna ignore that idol, because I just don't need it. Monkey, go away. Okay, you didn't pull out a bomb. That's the only really harmful one. Ha! <laughs> uh, Alright, well, Black Market's in here somewhere. Oh, I'm very close to it. Okay. Not close enough for this to reveal it, but... Basically. Okay, um, I have found Parsnip on this level already. Yes, I remember having saved her. Uh, I can check on this if I'm uncertain. Sparrow, Parsley, Paste, Parsnip. Great. <laughs> Parachute. Oh boy, I guess I have one of those. I didn't even notice when I picked it up. <laughs> the most worthless item. Except at the one time where it's guaranteed an Olmec. It's actually kind of good there. Sometimes it's exactly what I need, but that's very rare. Go away, spider. I have yet to find out whether if I kill Yang on an earlier level, he... Um, oh, sweet, I can buy a jetpack. I think I will. I am... Right, this... It's impossible to get to Volcana from here. I have spectacles already. I'll buy a compass. I'll buy as many of those bombs as I can afford, probably, after I check the rest of the market and make sure I buy the real important stuff. Spring shoes I would like. Because, like, jetpack isn't necessarily forever, and even with it on my back, spring shoes are still kind of valuable. Ten ropes is enough. Uh, cat costs 4,500. 
I'm gonna clear the way to the exit. Come back for bombs and cat. And just leave my bow there so I can don't have to ferry both at once. There are usually witch doctors down here in this level. This is a rare exception. There is one enemy and it's out of the way. Nice. This is the most friendly bottom of black market I think I've ever seen. Okay. And after this point, money is of some interest because I still want to play the star challenge. Alright, so cat. Bombs. Uh, how many bombs? This many. Well, that's all my money. Okay, well, better accumulate a lot for the star challenge. I'm going to temple? I'll have some time. Not a huge amount of time, though. Can the star challenge happen in... 4-1? Also, there's going to be tusk activities. I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off, especially without a skeleton key. I'll have to kill her, I guess. Oh boy, wish I had my camera! It's fine, I can just fly right over, but still, I wish I had my camera. I see something I like. Uh, nothing to interact with it, though. I hear something that can interact with it. There you are. Here, kitty kitty. I'm at three health. Not feeling too bad. Hey, that's what I needed. Thank you. I'll still make Tusk angry by breaking into her cache. But at least this won't require me to... Uh... Hmm, actually, I have an interesting choice here. I could lose vegan status but keep vegetarian status by eating the royal jelly. I think I will not. I'm just going to keep vegan and deal with the amount of health that I have. This is just purely exploratory to find out if anything at all appears to me to change when I keep that status. Uh, all right, so I black marketed already. I have not rescued Parmesan and I would really like to. B, go away. Uh, Witch Doctor, you are awful. I'm just gonna not go to that shop. I have paste already. Hoyi's bow is here. Parmesan, where are you? I can probably see you from the B backside. It's, she's here, okay. Don't need to go there. Oh geez, it's open, okay. Uh, be careful. Huh? I'll be careful, but also get this money. Got the money. All right, 30 bombs. Yes, that's enough that I don't need to worry about buying those, and I'm interested in accumulating money again for the star challenge. Um, not enough to go bother breaking that pot, though. That's just a waste of time. Okay, additional possible sacrifices, but I'm happy to just move on. I am being, like, ridiculously ambitious with my goals here. I'm doing so many things at once. Uh, I kind of really expect to die at least once on the way to... Oh, that's a big bomb. Uh, on the way to where I want to be. But it's fine. If it happens, it happens. I will try not to let it happen, but it probably will. And that's okay. So one nice thing about the jungle route, as opposed to Volcana, is that I get to keep the Ujadai when I use it, so I can still see gems in the wall. Well, I also have spectacles, which would do that, but if I didn't... Oh shoot, I did this bad. Okay, it's fine. Um, all right, well, guess we're doing this the hard way, huh? Oh wait, it doesn't have to be. If I get you, oh boy, how would that happen? All right, this turned into a mess. Um, I wanna leave this, oh shoot, I, where, how? Also, which route am I taking? Temple, I think? 10 ropes, uh, Hoyu's bow is going to be safely stashed up there. Why did I not do that earlier? I don't know, I wasn't thinking about it. Right, so climbing a rope will not regenerate my jetpack fuel. I have to put my actual feet on the actual ground for that to happen. Well, there goes my block. So instead, I would like you to uh, do something you're not going to do. Alright, it's turned into a mess. It's fine, I can fix it. Here we go. Here's a place to fix. Easy. No problem. <laughs> Didn't stress out at all. What are you talking about? Okay, right, he's gonna stomp again. I keep forgetting what phase three is. I just like, somehow, somewhere in my mind, I just expect phase two again when I get down here. I don't know why that's the expectation. UFOs, by the way, have consistently been one of the things that most catches me off guard. I don't know why, but just I have a blind spot around them. I don't think of them as as explosive as they are. 
But yeah, I mean, a UFO is just a bomb waiting to go off in a bad place. That didn't kill the sapphire somehow. It survived. That's really rude to me. Okay, that hole's getting kind of deep. You didn't blow that guy up for some reason. Olmec is too far away to stomp. Okay, um... The bottom of this hole is in kind of a bad place. I'll get you to stomp on the right side of it, kinda. Let's see, how will I do that? That didn't do it. Guess we're making a new pass passage here. That's fine. Okay. You can't get out of that, can you? You might. You can. Okay, good. I don't know why that's good. It's not really. It's fine, though. Okay. So right here would be okay. I think you're stomping. You are. Right here would be perfect. Great. Okay. Pulled it off. <laughs> what a ridiculously stressful game. And I can tell that this is kind of a bad day for me. This is not going great. I have an okay run going here. I'm most of the way to a Kapala. If that breaks my vegan status, then I'm just okay with that, because I still don't know what that does. It's just purely exploratory to try to keep that. I have way more than enough for a star challenge now. Great. Yeah, so 3 1 is extremely profitable. I should remember that. Something I spotted when I was looking at the value of items picked up diamonds actually increase in value as you go through the levels. It used to be that only the colored gems did, and diamonds were always 5,000. So the value of ghosting decreased the farther, the deeper you went. But diamonds also scale now, so that's nice. This is always the part of the game where I'm saying things about, hey, don't break pots, while breaking lots of pots. <laughs> I'm just dropping the saying, hey, don't break pots part of that now. Waddler, I'm going to the temple. Um, I guess it's a lot more valuable to have my jetpack after Duat than having it on the way and then nowhere else, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, you three. I want to find one of you later in here. Hoyu's bow... where did I leave that thing? Oh, I need to... Uh, oh shoot. I have a problem. Let's make an assumption. The star challenge is guaranteed to show up before, um, parachute. Oh shoot, okay, it didn't go off. That's fine. I didn't need it as it turned out. Star challenge is guaranteed to show up before the City of Gold. I'm just going to make that assumption. Parachute! Whoosh! Oops, well, there goes that. Fine, I can rope instead. Uh, this is uncomfortable. It worked though. And again, if that goal doesn't get done, then whatever. I still have my main one. I can't eat you right now, because I don't have my utensil. Okay, here's something that could turn into Kapala, potentially. Here's something that could turn into me dead, potentially. It didn't. Hey, you had a diamond. How nice. If I shoot in this direction with that kitty there, I don't know where my arrow's gonna go. But I'm doing it anyway. Oh, jeez. I jumped. I jumped bad. Um, saving my good arrow is going to be hard. I'm going to try it, though. Oh, I died. Oh, okay. So, alright, this degrades then into a... Oh, wait! Tusk does not show up in the temple, therefore my sparrow activities are non-viable. Okay, so I didn't realize that routing that way would have that effect. Sure. Fair enough. Where's my bow? It's there, and its arrow is too. Alright, Sorceress, let's just not interact anymore. Okay, so we're doing the star challenge thing then. Anubis, um, here's what I'm gonna do to you. You are dead. I heard an extra sound after those explosions. I can tell. Uh, yeah, whatever. So, right, I do have a bit of vertical mobility I'm not very familiar with in being able to do this if I want. So I'll keep that in mind. Don't let that fall on your head. What did I die from? It was health loss, wasn't it? Yeah, I just took too many hits. That keeps happening today. Like, this is one of those rare days where that is the way that I end up dying. I missed. Yay! And I didn't see that thing. That's bad. I need to not not see those things. As in, I need to see them. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna squash whatever. I'm not there. 
I am seeing no sign of a cursed parsnip here. Not surprising. Why would she behave identically to Van Horsing? Because I think they're supposed to be equivalent somehow. But why do I think that? Just because I have no route to the alien compass now, and I feel like I should. Okay, star challenge. Oh, jeez, everything. Okay, you. Have this. You had it, but you're not dead. There we go. You. Have my spike shoes. Thanks. I want my arrow back in case that's important for this process. You. Have your friend, or not. Have your friend anyway. There we go. City of gold. Can't go. Oh, jeez. Big spike trap. Crush trap. Whatever. Trap trap. Get that arrow in case I need it. You go over there. Okay. Fully loaded bow. F fully loaded bow. Welcome to the star challenge. Crossbow is there. Clover is there. Torch is there. I don't think these things interact, but at least if I win this, which is not in any way a given, but if I can win this, uh, ignore the clover for now, if I can win this, then I can uh, try cloning the thing. Um, this is bad. I don't have a torch. I don't have a torch at all. Probably not winning this. Oh yeah, it looks very unlikely. There is no way I'm winning. Okay, well. So much for answering questions. Yeah, I'm not even close. Great. Okay, we're gonna have to try that again. Fine, well, run's not completely over yet, although I've lost... Actually, it is. I have literally nothing left to investigate, right? Because... Tusk is dead because I went to Temple instead of Tide Pool. Parsnip is dead because, well, she just didn't show up. Maybe she will later. Um... Compass is dead because I didn't interact with Van Horsing. Uh, Ushabti's dead because I wasted my Ankh. So yeah, this run is going nowhere. Right? Do I have any other goals I can attempt to accomplish here? I think I don't. Well, I'll keep going, I guess. I mean, if I can get a Tiamat kill, then that's cool. But no, I want to do this today, so I should just abort this run. And what would I change? Play better for one thing, yes, but... Like, in terms of routing and stuff, what would I change? Would I go Tide Pool instead of... Uh, instead of... I'm doing some, like, super risky stuff here because... Oh, hey, maybe those can only teleport once nowadays. Uh, super risky stuff just because I have no, um... No viable, interesting places to go in this run anymore. I guess I can try and get through Neo Babylon just to do that. So that thing does two damage, by the way, I'm noticing. Maybe it's three? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's two, though, actually. Okay, let's learn about Crocmen. After they teleport... That one did teleport twice. Maybe they have a cooldown. Maybe they just don't always react in time. It is hard to tell. But learning to fight these better is useful. All right, I got jumped. Okay, good. So that runs over. So, okay, let's think about routing. Um, my route is flawed for what exactly? So I didn't succeed at the star challenge thing. My route is flawed for Sparrow. Would I rather... I would much rather switch jungle to volcano than switch temple to tide pool. So we can do alien compass stuff, and yeah, okay, we can do alien compass stuff, I guess. All right, let's make that change. What the heck? Okay, so I changed my mind, and I ended up on a uh, Volcana Temple route for various reasons, but also this run is dead, because one, I've lost my Ankh, two, I didn't manage to talk to Sparrow... Why was I given an elixir instead of a clone gun right now? That won't do anything for me when I'm not already cursed, right? Interesting, so it doesn't respond to my status, huh? It gave me some health. I guess maybe because I was low on health when I came here. Like four is considered low, maybe? 
Okay, well, no interaction with Hoyi's bow. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna like end this adventure because I have nothing else that I'm trying to do here. So let's do an instant restart. Try this again. Yes. Okay, let's try this route. So I got a good run going here. Here are my pins. Uh, statuses. I stole one thing. Uh, which was this jetpack, so that's helping me out a lot. I have Ho Yi's bow. I have a real full set of pins there in the jungle. I beat the moon challenge. Right, I got the bow. Uh, saved all three sisters. Have head jet, have Kapala. I've been drinking lots of blood, so I can't... I'll be able to tell at the end whether that breaks veganism or not. It probably does. Why would it not? In fact, it's a ridiculous notion that I'd be able to use the Kapala and stay vegan. So I guess that part of this goal is dead. But that's fine. I have plenty of others that are still viable here. Um, right, anyway. So, uh, I have also a silly amount of bombs and a habit of not really using them nearly as much as I could benefit from. So let's try and really, really use bombs to help things out. Okay, so, Tusk right here. I, one thing I don't have is a skeleton key, so I'm gonna have to take your key. I have paste. I think the best way to do this is gonna be to stick a bomb to you so you die. And then just like shoot Tusk. I don't know if she has a direct attack, I've never seen her use one. So an additional thing this will reveal. Alright, so having met Sparrow. Oh, check it! Something new. The Tusk Idol, a walrus idol carved from an extra-large diamond, one of Madame's most precious treasures. Well, it sounds like an idol. It has the name of an idol. Let's see if Tun wants it. Okay, so where's your entrance, Tun? So this is just worth a lot of money? Oh boy, that's um, just off-screen, like, four more tiles left, and okay, so just right at that hamster, kind of. Um, I'm going kind of fast here, more than I probably would like to. Alright, Jiangsha, just be dead. Get a bomb right here. That should reveal a secret. So, special idol, really? Okay, so what's it worth? A lot. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of money. Alright, so that's for money. Well, you know what it really was for was knowledge and a journal entry. Those are the really valuable things I got out of it. Additional knowledge I could still get from this is uh, whether having killed Tusk there will have her dead in Madame's later if I can get that far. Okay, so that's one goal done. Good. And I'm satisfied enough with that without feeling like I ever really have to do that again. Um, because if it's just for money then unless I'm like really really going for score, which when would I ever do that? <laughs> uh, then I just don't have to care. Okay, great. So next, um, I would love to... Oh boy, not get snapped by this clam, etc. Um, take out Kingu. Um, refilling health would help that. Uh, take out Kingu, get the Tablet of Destiny, get the Darn Ushabti, now I have a jetpack, and that is unfortunate. Um, let's see, what did I come here with? Hoyi's bow. I'm gonna swap my gun for that. Because again, shotgun's not honestly that great, and I have a special thing to do with the bow, maybe. I want to clone it. With six health, I suspect I won't get the elixir. So at four health, I did. I strongly suspect that it was the amount of health that determined whether I got that thing or not. Hey, ghost, you're here. Good for you. There's a curse pot on the way down somewhere here. Uh, sure, it is convenient. I will break it. Okay, so I wish to clone Ho Yi's bow, and I wish to get the Destiny Tablet. And it's not impossible that using the Capella doesn't break veganism. Like, it depends whether I'm actually drinking this blood or not. I don't have spike shoes right now, I should note. Gotta watch for the kickback on that thing. So that's real bad for collecting blood, because I get, like, out of the way of the thing I'm shooting very quickly. Pet shop. Not interested right now. What I want to see is a star challenge. Found it. With the jetpack, I should reliably be able to clear this. And seven health, that's definitely enough. Uh, right, I have to actually buy entry. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Good thing she doesn't get angry if I go in without paying. She has a guard against that. Okay, now. Let me make sure I do actually get this done. Focus. Do 
Don't skip torches. Okay, last one. We're good. Okay, I have one. Do I have a clone gun? Yes, I do. I'll use bow right next to it. So, question number two. What does this do? It makes Hoyu's bow. Okay, so an identical item, nothing really of interest. Got it. All right. So still don't know what to do with that item. Um, I don't really want to take it along, and I need to get Excalibur anyway on this very level right here. I suspect maybe the main purpose of the clone gun is to... Uh, to give broken Excalibur to you if you d have not um, gotten here with the ability to get the real one. Just kind of feels like that's that's what it's mainly for. But also a fun little toy if you can find other weird uses for it. Like for example, I'm gonna rescue three cats on this level. If I can pull that off, and I think I can. Thank. Thanks, Lou. Okay, um, Excalibur. I need that. Cats. One cat. Two cats. Three cats. All right. Not even gonna bleed them. That'll be nice. This'll be fun. Okay, Excalibur uh, is on the level with the pool. It's right there. And Octopi is getting batted around non-stop down there. That's a little annoying. I can put a stop to it. Young should go away. Uh, can I? Well, you know what? I won't. I'll just take the sword and leave. I have no interest in the Great Humphead. Already killed it once. Uh, no interest in the cave down there. Already been there. It has basically nothing. Am I done here? Yes. Okay. I have to think carefully again. Slurp. 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 <laughs> that was fun. Someday I'll have to get four cats when I don't have another specific use for the clone gun. Uh, that's a good use for those on, like, assuming this is breaking veganism, you know, vegan runs. Okay, I don't like going across the top there. I'm gonna go in the bottom. Uh, good way to get health back, etc. Because, like, I'm assuming vegan just means your only source of health gain can be um, pet affection. Meow. Okay, so what else am I doing here? Right, yes, this is the level where I need to go down to the bottom, and I think that's the spot where I do it. I have climbing gloves, so if it's not, then I can still get back up, but clearly this is the way that goes down. Hey, Parsley! Okay, I need to not die before I touch this, uh, this thing. I wouldn't mind putting some of my own blood in my Kapala, but if that doesn't happen, then no big deal. You, come down here. Okay, idle, and while this happens, bleed me. Bleed me some more. No, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, main hazard I'm thinking about right now is jetpack in Neo Babylon with sparks around. If I get touched by a spark, it's all over. So, my plan to deal with that is to, uh, very aggressively bomb them out. If I see a spark, bomb it. Like, I want the entire level to be cleared of sparks by the time I'm done with it. That's the idea. Okay, so this gets me to Abzu. Here's another kitty I could rescue, and I would like to. And I can. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna bleed you a little bit first. Sorry. It's just the way you go. Um, I do not want to sacrifice. Already have Kapala. Don't want Royal Jelly. Specifically avoiding that. Uh, don't go to that exit, by the way. Interestingly, the compass shows me only... Um, oh, jeez. Uh, that was dangerous. Shows me only one exit here. So that exit is not uh, compass visible. So that is hidden information. Alright, Kingu, kill number two. Shwing, 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 shwing. You don't even do anything while you're being stunned by this. Oops, okay, well, you did summon that dude. 
Now you're gonna turn into... wait. Oh, right, of course. Journal entry because... Fresh Tablet of Destiny with new text on it. A cracked Servant of Jade, marked by the snake. Alright, um... Only other thing I'm interested in here is health, right? So jetpack fuel does not regenerate unless I put my actual feet on the actual ground. So be aware, climbing gloves do not help prolong jetpack. That is one of the two major downsides to it that was introduced in Spelunky 2. And I might be about to experience the other major downside in a very sad way, but I'm hoping that I can pull off something good and not have that go wrong. Alright, six health. Um, I think I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough. It's fine. Okay, I have the tablet. I'm in ice caves. Right, there's still ice caves to deal with. I have no alien compass. Had no way to get it as far as I know. Let's take this at a gentle pace. Like, for example, that's going to blow up. Just going to wait a moment. Oh yeah, one more vague theory about this that I can test right here if I get as far as Parsley. It's very far-fetched, even more so than, like, handing her a cape as a jacket, but I'll try it. You go away. The thing that killed me last time and I hope doesn't kill me this time. I don't have spike shoes. That's about to change. Yeah, I saw there was a pet up there. Um, not particularly concerned with that. The exit's way too far away for it to be practical to do anything about that. Okay, yeah, let's not mess around too much here. Let's just go. Okay, so... Parmesan. Is there any chance I can pick you up? Uh, no. There was a rock behind you, though, apparently. Uh, unless that rock took priority and I still can. No, I cannot. I guess I could kill her and bring her to the altar? I was thinking, wondering if, like, maybe that's a thing. Like, if she's the one who has to go on that altar. Because it is unique that she is there. I just want to Excalibur you real quick. I didn't manage it. It's fine. I'm alive. I used my Ankh, so I'm only alive this one time. For the rest of this run, no more extra lives. So be careful with the one you have. Don't skip out on this Clover. That was my main mistake when I went to the alien world. Waddler's way over there. Okay. Yeti King. I'm not going to take any chances here. Here's what I'm going to do to you. Uh, we'll first throw a... Uh, I'd like to throw a yeti at you. There's one. Throw a couple of yetis so that blood just sort of comes my way. Then I'm not using my sword here. I'm going to use... Explosives. You ate it. <laughs> it looked like you were eating it for a moment. Ah! Almost got thrown. Sword's range is shorter than it looks. I'm not messing with that curse pot. I don't need to. Okay. So, um... Stay away. Oh shoot, okay, boulder coming. That's fine. I'm up here. Just let it go. Don't mess with it. It can do its thing without me. If that idol landed in a spot where I can grab it, I'll grab it. But it totally didn't. Okay, nine health. Again, health can make a difference here. But if I get exploded, I'm just dead because I have a jetpack, so, like, health beyond t 10 is not extremely significant, so I think I'm ready to just go. Uh, that was a vault over there? Yes. Uh, there's an altar there. Not interested right now. Let's just go. Okay. Now, clear up those spark traps. Any spark anywhere... Gets bombed out by me. Force fields I'm less worried about. That's where I can stay. It's way the heck up there. Uh, Alright, so compass tells me where to go. Here is a great example of a spark I want to destroy. There's a bunch of stuff down there that's making that unfriendly though. Um, let's just take a different route instead. That's gonna squish. Great. This route also kind of bad. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Many bombs being used all over the place to get me around. 
Okay, you. Huh. Okay, we'll do it this way. Yeah, that spark is an example of one I would like to destroy. I'm not destroying nearly as many as I implied that I would. Uh, definitely doing this, though. Didn't manage to get the elevator, but I got the other hazard. Okay. Spark, you go away. Laser trap? You too, maybe. I want to make sure nothing falls in my head. We're going at this, like, ridiculous max caution. Okay. Okay. I want your blood. This guy's kind of pound like Olmec, I've noticed, if I give him a chance to do something. Alright, here is exits. Squish. Drink. Go. We shoved to level. We shoved to level is here. Alright, that thing's gone. I'll just bypass it and that's fine. Uh, you're gonna get lasered. Why would you do that? How silly of you. Okay, we shoved to. We shoved to. Okay. So, finally, I get a quiet moment with these. Um, let's make sure the ghost does not come prematurely! The elevator! You're the worst! I hate you! Get this thing out of here to a safe spot. Blow up those elevators, the worst things in the world. I hate them so much. You get a bomb on you. I no longer have a need for this Excalibur. Okay, so Cracked Servant of Jade, something, something. Every elevator gets destroyed. One more time. Cracked Servant of Jade marked by the Serpent, I believe it was. A Cracked Servant of Jade marked by the Snake shall open the door for the Aspirant. Cracked Servant of Jade marked by the Eye here. Okay. Jade Serpent. Cracked. Oh, hey, crossbow. Go away, elevators. Good, I got both of those. Alright. Look carefully. Cracked servant, bat. Uh, uh. This is already the most time I've ever spent in this chamber. Uh, down to 55 bombs, that's fine. Yeah. Go away. Now, some of my explosions may push these things around, making it less obvious what's where. Uh, is that a serpent? Yes, it is. I found my Ushabti. It's right here. It's you. Gotcha. Alright. Cracked servant of jade marked by the serpent. Snake. I say servant, so I think serpents. <laughs> Cracked servant of jade marked by the snake. She'll open the door for the aspirant, and I'm pretty sure that's the snake. What else could that possibly be? Okay. So... I got that. I'm leaving my Excalibur behind. The door. Next question is, what door? Let's look around a little bit more back here just to make sure it's not a door here. I don't believe it is. I suspect I have to take this on, thereby sacrificing my weapon. Like, is there a door by Tiamat? Is it in Madame's? That'd be so weird. Like, Madame's is a modern thing. You know, she just built it... Uh, thanks, All Might. You protected me. She just built a thing here. Uh, I do want to go there, though, because she's dead right now. Probably meaning her bodyguards hate me. Uh, so I've made that dangerous by doing that. But I had to learn. Uh, I presume. I mean, I don't know this for sure. Dude! What an awful place this is. I don't want to get hit by that All Might. I didn't. Yeah, you just, just shoo. I ain't even dealing with you. You, please also go away somehow. I don't have my Excalibur anymore. Um, Spark is scary, but I'm leaving. Okay. Okay, I can't see a thing. Uh, oh, check it out. It's ringing. No, oh, what? Hi? Lin, a creature of myth whose arrival is said to coincide with important events in the history of humans and gods. It's a mount. So pretty much a... F okay. Got it. This lets me go above Tiamat. That's what it is. Okay. 
Uh, I believe that is the key. And yeah, the above Tiamat area is carefully constructed to be, like, impossible to get into by conventional means. Maybe there's some ridiculous way that that could be brute forced into. But I'm going to say that this is the purpose of this creature. So infinite hover. You have a jetpack. Jetpack is very finite. Uh, this is probably part of the reason that the jetpack was changed as it was. I'm in hell right now. This is the worst. I hate it. Can I just not be and go somewhere else instead? Well, that's second hell. Uh, I can't see a thing, but there's probably also sounds of revelry that I'm just not talking about. This is awful. Um, bomb here, maybe? Okay, right. Bombs are... We're acting funny because I'm on a mount. <sighs> um, idea. Check it out. That's what I'm going to do. I feel a little bit safer now. I don't know if I'm fireproof with this thing. I'm going to assume that I'm not. Let's say that's a rock dog only thing. All right. I feel a little safer. Exit's over here. Mech riding all might. Interesting. I don't want to get plasma blasted by you, so I'm going to go over top of your head. I don't want your mech. Okay. I'm at Tiamat with this mount with no jetpack. So I dropped my liability. I have to kill Tiamat. I have all the bombs in the world for that, so that should be no problem. I probably don't have to kill Tiamat, but I'm probably gonna just to get her out of the way, you know? Will that do it? Where's my mount? My mount's there. Is he alive? No. Fantastic. My mount died. Good. Okay, so that can happen. Of course it can. Oh, I'm bombing my bubble. What? What's that bomb doing? That was weird. Nope. Oh, hey! Bubbles have no fall damage on them. That's nice to know. Okay, so, run's dead. This late. How sad. Are those sticking to your face at all? Yeah, I think so. I'm making some weird choices here, I realize. Okay, that's stuck to your face, finally. It's surprisingly hard to do that. Okay. Well, let's learn something. I was vegan! Kapala does not break that. I was a petty criminal. I was a king. I loved pets. Took my first damage in 1-4. Survived death once. I slayed Kingu. Eventually died in level 6-4. Alright. Well, a step forward has been taken. Tiamat's throne. Right, that's where I was. Okay. This game's exhausting. I almost want to do that again and, like, actually take the Tilin up above, but I've been playing this for a while already. What am I doing with my life? Alright, never mind. I'm doing the reasonable thing and calling it here. I had a run about an hour ago that just about made it, but then I got squished by an elevator in Neo Babylon and nothing good happened since. Okay, so I'm out of juice today. I did learn one thing. I'll learn more stuff next time. Oh, that looked really weird. He had that thing like right in your face. Okay, I'll see you next time when I've recharged and we can make another run at that.